Hey, this is Steve Good on the Coin Chat. Along with Yuri Cataldo again. And we are cutting through the noise and misinformation in cryptocurrency and what's it called? Global coin? To Global what, coin. To tell you what really matters. <laughs> And um, of course, everybody, if you're enjoying watching this show, just give us a subscribe or a like. Uh, we always appreciate, you know, the uh, return visitors. And we've mm -hmm. got some exciting things coming up soon, too. So uh, you won't want to miss out. I can promise you that. Anyway, Yuri, what's up for today? Today, we're talking about Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Why the, uh, Facebook? Why, I know. So the same platform that has banned you know, shows like ours from advertising has yeah. announced a few different times that they are creating their own digital currency and officially launching a white paper on, in eight days from now. June 18th, they say they are going to be releasing a white paper. They also have, behind the scenes, been spending a ton of money on buying people, well, hiring people in the blockchain space and to develop a really big... Have they been uh, in touch with you? They have not been in touch with me. Or me. So they've obviously not been talking to the right people. So there you go. Definitely not. But apparently, though, the people they have been working with are like, it's like Apple level of, of secrecy where they have a secret area in the back part of their offices where they're quarantining off this project. That's where the coffee machine is. So they keep everybody awake at night, too. <laughs> That's right. They just keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. So yeah, so Facebook is getting into the blockchain cryptocurrency space. So I'm going to cut right through it. So Yuri, okay. you, you did your research. Tell me. Yeah. How, how does this differ from EOS in the sense of these, you know, individuals who have a, a proportionately large amount of coins and basically control the network like a cartel? How is this going to differ from that? Oh, it's not. Easy oh, okay. answer. But it's not. I don't think Facebook wants that. So I think in this sense, like if you're like a pure like. I like cryptocurrency for being decentralized. Yeah. You're going to hate this because that's not what Facebook is. They're not even claiming they're going to build that. They are building their own stable coin. And from what you and I have been talking about, I think they want to become the next WeChat, actually. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. So, yeah, with a stable coin. Yeah. And you did mention to me off camera they're talking about having ATMs. Yes. And they have a huge population they can target. But how can they go after that many places in the world at once? It's too big. It's huge, but think about what Facebook has that every company wants. They've already got a user base built in. Oh my God, this is the weirdest thing ever. I just remembered this. Just What's that? Okay, so do you remember that when Facebook first started talking about trialing out their cryptocurrency, they said they were going to do it in India? No, I don't remember that. I somehow recall yeah. that they said they were going to test out their crypto stuff in India. Now I'm thinking to myself, India has just announced they're banning crypto, and yet Facebook has a massive population of users in India. How the mm -hmm. hell is that going to work? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is really interesting. So India <laughs> versus fa Facebook, guys. Who wins this one? Maybe Facebook should run for office. They, they, I'm sure they probably will. They've got so much, so much cash in the reserves. Why not? So I look, I'm not a fan of, look, for, I mean, I have been off Facebook for almost two years. I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of the fact that they've had multiple problems. They've not announced anything around how they're going to solve privacy issues or security issues or our data issues or owning our data, which are all the things that blockchain's about, which is why we like Minds.com. So I give a shout out to our friends over at Minds because <laughs> they've got a cool platform and we've been growing over there and it's, we like it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really understand how this works with Facebook other than saying we're jump, jumping on the, the coin bandwagon to say we have a crypto based something. But what is it they're going to do that? Okay, so you said like a week. Yeah. So describe for me what okay, they're so, going to do. Sure. So, so again, this is all speculation because they have announced they're releasing a white paper on June 18th. Until then, nobody really knows a lot of details. But there's like small leaks that have been coming out. Uh, there's an article in TechCrunch that came out, I believe it's today or yesterday, that has a lot of more details. Yeah. So right now, TechCrunch is calling it the um, Libra, codename Libra coin, not Libra global coin. coin. or global coin. Both names are flying around. Right. Both names. Either way, no one knows what it's called. It's, some, it's a secret project by, by Facebook. But basically, the idea of, the, of it is this. The token itself is supposed to be a stable coin that's yeah. going to have, uh, you know, again, stable price throughout. It'll be backed by multiple different types of coins to keep the the price actually stable yeah um and then the the, the facebook community will be transferred so the 
their cryptocurrency will be transferable with zero fees through only Facebook products. So Messenger, WhatsApp, which is why I keep saying I think they're trying to be like the next WeChat. They are trying to bring oh, in that that's what it was. emergence. It was WhatsApp that they were testing with cryptocurrency in India. That's what it was. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah, because now they're bringing in merchants who want to bring in the token as payment, and they're offering them sign-up bonuses. They're going to release actual ATMs, to put it that way. Like Again, they've hired a really big team of people behind this. Well, they have cash. And they've got cash. And part of the governance of this is they're trying to get large companies in to spend $10 million to operate their own node to validate the, the, the transactions. So they're doing it like a master node based environment then? They are. And if so, if you've, you've got the cash, you can be part of their, so they're putting it under a foundation in quotes. And so if you want to be part of that governance, you can buy your way in with $10 million to operate the node. And that gives you voting power in the, and this what's foundation. The point of giving them $10 million at stock where you get no returns or are they going to uh, be? Well, this is what we got to find out because if it's a yeah. stable coin, then they're going to have to reward people with stable coins for holding $10 million there. But then someone's going to end up with more coins. It's like, I already have 10 million global coins. What do I need 10 million in one with? I mean, like, right. what are they going to spend $10 million with a global coin on? Exactly. So that's, that's still like, oh, there's a lot of details to be like figured well, I, out. I know what I would do if I had $10 million sure. in global coin. You know what I would right. do? What would you do? I would buy Bitcoin. Do you know what? This has got to be single-handedly the best way to drive the price of Bitcoin up. And I know this sounds really odd and strange, but mm -hmm. let's think about this. Number one, if you want to buy crypto, you normally have to go through the underlying cryptocurrency that drives the entire economy, which is Bitcoin. So mm -hmm. are you gonna? So if, so if they're gonna try to bypass by, bypass that, then they're gonna have to basically make everybody buy this global coin based on local currency exchanges all over the place, which just sounds like okay. So they have one single currency that runs their entire global economy. Right. I kind of understand that, but they could have used Bitcoin for that. They didn't need to create another coin. We don't need any more coins, Facebook. Thank you very much. But on the other hand, it does create. I'm gonna be a little bit controversial here because I know people probably don't want to hear this, but a major institutional company like a Facebook and Amazon, Apple, jumping into crypto suddenly mm -hmm. gives us more adoption of crypto generally. It's probably going to drive the price of Bitcoin up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm with you on that one. You know, we talk about adoption a lot and we're focused on that. This yeah. is, and on that side, no brainer. Like Facebook already has this huge, again, what, what every company really wants. Facebook already has user base. Facebook has, like my mother's on Facebook. People who yeah. have never used cryptocurrency are on Facebook. And now and suddenly- you know, we're, this is our, the best market to sell our yeah. book. It's going to be in the Bitcoin world, the Bitcoin world of, or not the Bitcoin world, but the Facebook world of what is cryptocurrency. And it is. It's going to come out just in time. Our book's coming out in October. Yeah. And, and their coin's supposed to launch in 2020. It's going to be perfect timing. Perfect timing. So anybody who wants to know what is Bitcoin, what is cryptocurrency, uh, just uh, what is it? The basic, basic, basics for people who know nothing about it. Keep following us on the show. We're going to talk about that soon. It's coming out. Uh, it's with our editors. It's been a year plus in the making. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We have a lot of people who've checked the book and read the book and given us the feedback that has allowed us to keep making it better. Um, and yeah. What a great opportunity. Thank you very much, Facebook, for helping us to sell our book. Yeah, yeah exactly. But if you think about that way, like, you know, apart from the, but, the other adoption. issues, yeah. for adoption purposes, Facebook is opening this up. It's also, Facebook has a lot of money. Facebook is headquartered in the U.S. It's going to force U.S. regulators to do something because they can lobby on behalf of, granted, it'll be, they'll be lobbying on behalf of themselves. But still, though, they'll be able yeah. to force. It's called self-interest, right? It is total self-interest, but they've got money to do that. And they'll be able to, I think long-term, this is going to be a good thing. Yeah. I, this is a really weird one because I can, I can kind of understand that if you have a captive audience of 300 million or half a billion or a billion people or whatever it is on their, their system, and forgive me for not doing my research on that, but- Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. It's I, a lot. It's, it's a lot of people. If you have that many people on your system, and, and I know that the challenge when you want to run advertising is if you run it from- India, you pay local Indian rupee prices. And if you're paying in dollars, you pay a different price. And in the UK pounds, you pay a different price. And that's, there's no equal, equality in the pricing mechanisms of that because it depends on the country. If they wanted yeah. to create a global ecosystem where everybody could trade equally with each other all around the world, having a single currency globally like Bitcoin would be great. 
Um, if they mm -hmm. wanted a stable coin, well, there's plenty of those around already, but because they're Facebook and they have the money, if they want to build their own stable coin, by all means, fine, back it with their own money. Mm -hmm. um, that will certainly, I think that will create some regulatory hurdles for them because it does take a lot of effort to demonstrate you have enough cash to back every coin that's sitting out there. Uh, that'll be interesting, but yeah. I can see the merits of that. I don't understand the yeah. merits of creating a, a, uh, a meritocracy or an aristocracy where you have these rich people with $10 million each to have a node. And why would somebody that has $10 million want to lock it up into a master node of some sort anyway? I just don't see why anyone would want to do that. Yeah. Unless you, again, unless you have like bigger plans of well, able to work with Facebook and I mean, it's, you know, it's like the, the he who owns the gold unless, unless makes it's, the rules. Type unless of thing. they're targeting the big companies that use Facebook for something, but then they really have to have a sweetener as to why do you want to tie up $10 million in cash on a coin that what's it doing for me? So I really, yeah. I, we're going to follow back up to everybody so that we can get Very into well. the white paper and, um, and maybe we'll even do a live AMA and we'll talk about the white paper because I think it'll be interesting to get a discussion going. So if mm -hmm. anybody's you know, checking this out and wants to get more into this white paper discussion on what Facebook's doing, then um, please give us some comments and let, let us know what you think. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going to follow this one through because this is going to be interesting. And um, yeah, and interesting, I have another one. Let us yeah. know what you think, guys. Is Facebook going to make Bitcoin go up or down? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Cool. Well, very cool. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks. So, thanks. Thank, thanks. Sorry. As, as yeah. one thing I want to bring in, which I thought was funny. So Go on. Yeah. you realize that, that the, now that this comes back, the Winkle, Vi, the Winkle Voss twins were trying to do the exact same thing at Gemini. So. Well, they did make a, they did make a, um, uh, the GUSD, didn't they? Mm, I don't know if that actually worked out or not. Did it? But um, well, I haven't. What a I what a funny think. coincidence, or like to have like because you know the Winklevoss twins are connected to to, to Mark Zuckerberg from beforehand at Harvard, and oh. it was kind of like different thing to have it happen again. Like if this like if this was a legit thing, and this actually happened again, or they were like we had this idea, and he's like no, boop, I have a better idea because I've got a better company, and I just yeah, the, it out. the Gemini USD is actually out there because I'm just checking on Bitmark okay. Exchange, and there's a GUSD to USD trade pair. So okay. GUSD, so it exists. It is, it is running. Yeah, I, I knew it was, but I wanted to just double check for say, sake of, you know, fact checking. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a live coin. So yeah, uh, okay. you're right. This will be very, because I think they've actually surpassed um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg in terms of their net worth, which is even funnier. It is. Uh, so but, be, but think about it this way, though. Like, yeah, having it like, come back around on the other side. Well, maybe he should have used the GUSD. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. We'll see if that was, uh, I'm sure they, Probably pitched it to him at some point. I wonder oh, if they were I mean, like. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll wait and see. Well, anyway, Yuri, this is an interesting one. Um, we just got to keep our eye on this. This is definitely game changing in certain certain ways. It's certainly for mass adoption, Facebook mm -hmm. going into the crypto market and telling everybody, "Hey, crypto's okay" is a cool thing. Getting people a little bit educated is a good thing. Uh, it creates a platform for us to launch our book on, which is a great thing for us personally. Although. That's not, let's say, the end game for me in terms of why I'd want them to do it. Um, right. But it comes with some downside I don't like in terms of the, this aristocracy of big money only and no, no decentralization. And it doesn't solve the privacy problems that we've all talked about until we see the white paper and we can judge then. Right. Exactly. To be, to, to be continued in eight days. But I, don't, I just can't imagine them uh, carte blanche asking you know, a billion people to do KYC. Yeah, I don't see that either because they have never done that before. So it'll be no, interesting. There's, there's a lot of challenges they're going to do. If you want to eliminate all the scammers and all the, the fakers and all of the scams and all of the thieves that are out there with fake profiles, the only way to do it with KI, is with KYC. And if they really want to legitimize their platform, they're going to have to give us control of our data and they yeah. need to put KYC in place. And somehow I just want to wait and see what they do before I I'll reserve judgment. <laughs> Sounds fair. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm back. Okay, cool. So okay. thank you, everybody, for listening and watching and checking us out on the Coin Chat with Yuri Contado, Steve Good. Give us a subscribe and tell us why you like us because we like you guys and we love you guys being supporters for us. And we'll be back again soon. To the moon. Until next time.